Hello, we are here for one more lesson of this T-Flex CAD training course. And the topic for today will be the holes. This operation hole helps the creation of standard holes of various types. The operation capabilities uh, vary a lot and go from isolated holes in a single body uh, or arrays through multiple separated bodies. Uh, I prepared a very simple geometry so that uh, you can see uh, a couple of examples. So, uh, finding the, the icon and the function 3D model menu and uh, as the previous commands, group advanced and we have a function whole. Um, I've prepared this geometry first. Uh, this is a very simple cylinder with a couple of nodes uh, on the top. These uh, outside nodes are uh, created from a circular array and the center one is a, a very simple uh, 3D node. So function hold. Then we need to choose from uh, a point, a single one or clicking several points. Or uh, if we have uh, an array, which is the case, I can choose this function here and uh, clicking in one of the elements will uh, select automatically uh, all the elements. So selecting the middle 3D node, um, I get a couple of possibilities here. I can choose the type of hole to create. I have all this list for uh, holes. So the simplest one, if I choose other types, Okay, uh, the functions uh, start to vary. So in this particular case, all for fasteners. And then we can have from this simple through hole or threaded one, uh, square, whatever. You have multiple types. And according to the types we choose here, uh, the box opens options uh, below. So. You see these little boxes with dialog boxes to uh, insert values. Um, we can choose also uh, metric or other standards. In my particular case, I will leave uh, the metric. And um, when I have these functions below, I can choose also from this type, this type, this one, and this one. And for each of the types, I get uh, different options. For example, this very simple uh, screw hole, I can insert uh, values. For example, in here, and I can make another value here. Okay, I get these options changing dynamically in my uh, part. Um, and I get a very nice function also with this turnover that simply flips uh, the hole in my part. This is very convenient and very easy to use. Um, besides all these choices here, I can have uh, these, um, these options, like uh, these two next faces, or through hole, or for a given length, or to a specified face. Uh, after uh, all these uh, options are uh, selected here. Um, when everything it, it's okay according to the user, simply confirm and you get the whole done. So it's very easy to, to use in these uh, particular examples. Um, to see uh, the case of the array, so choosing the array, okay. I get the last function. Uh, I will choose this uh, oblong hole and I will select uh, a little smaller, for example, and uh, I can make an angle of, for example, 45. Uh, let us do this a little smaller. Okay. And uh, I think now it's okay. And simply confirm and you get 
very easy and very fast function for these holes. There are a couple of more options to move the holes of position after they are done uh, and to translate them, changing directions, but this is the very uh, basic stuff to understand the function and to work with this uh, almost immediately. So any help or any point uh, less clear in this video, send us an email or put a comment in uh, YouTube in, uh, in the comment area of YouTube and uh, any help, uh, we will support you uh, according to uh, whatever you may need.